Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about the new advanced Z-level finish, uh, a few of the options that we have with this new strategy, and uh, where are some good scenarios that you can use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this first one, we have just a, a radius to edge that's on a tapered wall. And uh, generally, if you're going to throw a radius on a, a part that's got a straight wall, uh, you may use a corner rounding tool. But in this case, because there's a, a taper there, uh, we're probably going to want to use the, the Z-level finish, which would be a great tool to target uh, this particular radius here. Now. I have the toolpath 30 set up. You can see I have a lead in and lead out. And this is going to do a single direction cut. So it's going to climb and step down and climb and step down. Um, if we look at it, the top of the job is at uh, the top of the part here. And you can see there's no toolpath uh, machining this uh, particular boss here. So let's take a look at some of the options in here. One of the things that uh, is very useful within the software is being able to control your depth options. We give you the ability to pick a top a job and a bottom a job and you can enter this information in this information is um an uh, incremental position from the machine zero so wherever your zero is if i want to go down i'm going to go a quarter inch down um if I want to go, if I want to say cut within a level, I can give it two different levels, but these reference the machine zero, not the drawing zero. Okay. Now, uh, if I'm going to, I'll just punch this up a little bit. I'll make this one inch and I'll go ahead and recompute. And now we can see that the tool path is going down further. So when I'm machining this radius here, I want to make sure the tool gets beyond this, um, uh, the tangency point, you know, well, I may have it go all the way down, but the point is, is that I didn't want it to machine this top area here. So using my levels here, I can adjust uh, how far this goes down or not. Now, another thing that I want to talk about let me unblank this, is your step down. Uh, as you know, with most of the tool, uh, most of the pro tool paths, we have uh, adaptive options to uh, clean up areas uh, that would generally have material left over. So in this example, I have a step down here. If we look at under our parameters, I have a 30,000 step down. And, um, you know, I'm not sure if that's going to clean up the radius as much as it would clean up the wall. So one of the options that you have is this adaptive depth of cut. And by turning this option on, you're going to see that additional passes are made at the top of this radius here. See how they get tighter together? And that is to give us a more consistent finish. And then once it gets to the tapered wall, uh, it breaks back to the 30,000 step down. So uh, again, the advanced Z-level finish is an excellent tool for machining vertical or near vertical, uh, near vertical surfaces. And again, one of the options in here is this uh, adaptive depth of cut. Uh, if we look at the pattern, in this particular pattern, we're doing a zig, so we're cutting in one direction. Let's go ahead and load up the simulation and just take a look at what's going on. Within the simulation, I'm going to go to my visibility and I want my toolpath to show and then my toolpath rendering I'm gonna have it uh, trace the toolpath is one of the options so we'll play this through and you can see as it follows around the shape it traces it and then the toolpath goes away you can also have it follow as well but you could quickly see how we'll run this through again turn my speed down a little bit it's just going to run around the part it radius is on and it runs around the part steps down following the surface and continues around okay so that's the first one that's called um, advanced little finish and that's a zig tool path using the adaptive step down all right so now let me blank this out let's uh turn that model off and turn this one on. This is the next one that I want to look at. I got a tapered wall here and then I have a vertical wall here and I want to come around and uh, machine this surface. So again I'm going to use uh, Z level finish. I do have my lead in and lead out. In this example I've gone to a different pattern. Instead of using the zig pattern 
which would be a single direction. If we look at that, see how it, it will take a pass and then it will wrap it back and then take a pass and wrap it back. Depending on the part that you're machining, uh, this rapid back movement can waste a lot of time. So in previous versions of Bobcad, we didn't offer a zigzag routine uh, for the Z-level finish. We do offer that now, and that's a very useful feature. Again, instead of using a zig method, we can say zigzag. We'll go ahead and recompute that, and you can see how the toolpath will work its way um, back and forth following this profile. Let's go ahead and unblank that toolpath. We'll run this through a simulation and just take a look at what's going on here. All right, we'll play it through. You can see we take a pass, step down, take a pass, and we work our way uh, back and forth following along the model, okay? All right, very good. So that's exactly what we were looking for. And again, that's zigzag and uh, a great feature, especially when you're dealing with softer materials where you can climb in conventional and you want to eliminate those rapid moves. Okay, now the next one, let me go ahead and blank this one out. Um, let's blank that out. Let's look at the next job. So we'll turn this one on. Okay, this one I have more of... Um, conical cylindrical type surface and in this case you know I want to use uh, z-level finish again but instead of having the tool um, link down or zigzag around the part I want it to stay in the cut the whole time so I'm doing a spiral routine in this particular example again this is found under patterns so we go to patterns and our method would be a spiral so this will stay in the cut the whole time uh, another great feature of the advanced z-level finish um, you can see we have our lead in and we have our lead out and we're going to just spiral all the way down following whatever surfaces that we've selected there so another great feature um, one of the newer options that we have with the with the Bobcat software in, in recent years so let's go ahead and uh, simulate this one all right so I'm using like a, a bull nose type cutter and I'm just gonna uh, spiral around the part staying in the cut the whole time and just working its way around I mean this is one uh, one of, the, one of the ways that you can utilize this strategy as kind of like a roughing routine, a spiral rough routine, you can use it as a finishing strategy as well. Um, again, just another tool, another tool to put in your toolbox, uh, give you options and different approaches. Uh, there's all kinds of different machining conditions that you'll run across. So again, this is just one of the strategies that's very useful. So again, this is the advanced Z-level finish. This is available with the Mill Professional uh, package. Um, a lot of times customers ask what's the difference between Mill Standard and Mill Professional. Really it's the strategies that you have available. The standard uh, software gives you the standard tool paths and the professional software gives you both the standard and the professional tool paths. You're going to find a lot more options and control with the professional tool paths. And also if you don't find the options you're looking in the professional tool pass we also have advanced surfacing which is the next level of the software adding eight additional cutting strategies uh, for complex surface geometry so I got I hope you guys enjoyed the video here today if there's any questions or comments please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in if you like the video definitely give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any comments um, you know, things that you want to learn about or uh, questions about this particular topic, please comment in the video below. I check them daily. Otherwise, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye now.